Hello! Welcome to Crazy Russian Mama channel. Faces and places of Alabama. And uh, today we're visiting Kyle. Hello there. And Kyle, Welcome. Kyle is a businessman. And uh, please tell us about your business. Well, my business is um, I help people who are thinking about going into business kind of explore and determine if business ownership is right for them. And if it is, then I try to match them with some businesses that would meet their lifestyle goals, income, wealth, and equity goals. A business that would make them happy. One that they're excited about getting out of bed for. And we match them and help them explore those businesses and see if, you know, that's a potential uh, vehicle for them to gain, you know, success and happiness. And um, now, Kyle is going to give us a tour on his property. Follow me. Follow him. All right, I'll hold it like this. You just lead me. Okay. Show me where we're going. Okay. First of all, this is my greenhouse, and it's pretty much shut down now. But mm -hmm. I'm actually getting tomatoes out of it now, which is you know the wrong time of year for tomatoes. Okay. But by the time this one gives out, my tomatoes over here will have picked up. Okay. Uh, my my planter. I've got a little push planter, and for some reason it quit seeding right here. So that's mm -hmm. why this should look like that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but as we go on down. That row on the outside over there, this is all peppers. You'll see, we've got peppers growing very hot. Do you mm -hmm. like hot peppers? Yes, I do, and Sergey likes too. Well then, let's give him some. Yes. And there's jalapenos, and we call mm -hmm. these cowhorn peppers. And these are eggplants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then these are more peppers. Aha. Uh -huh. What I'm surprised because I was planting it in like buckets and I bought dirt and you planted it just in regular dirt? Yes. But now this is, I fertilize this, I lime it, I, ah. I, I, love, I love the soil. So, ah, okay. Now, these are uh, zucchini squash that I've just planted. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now here are crook neck squash. Okay. And straight neck squash. And these may not make it, <laughs> but these are what they call asparagus beans, and they grow this long. I have asparagus in my house. In addition to the garden, we have pomegranate bushes. Oh, yes, we have you blueberry do? bushes. Yes, where are you? We have pear where trees. Show me. Well, it's we're going to take a, a long walk around, but let's, okay. let's finish up over here first. All right. You see, they're in cages so they can grow up. And, uh, you know, we've got tomatoes that are coming along. Mm -hmm. So in about 30 or 40 days, mm -hmm. we should have tomatoes off these vines. And then these are watermelons. They're kind of hidden in the weeds, but this is a watermelon vine. Now, do y'all have watermelons in Russia? Uh, in Uzbekistan, yes. I grew up in a okay. southern state. And then there's my corn patch. And corn you have to plant very close together mm -hmm. so it will pollinate. Oh, okay. So, ha, ha, you got seeds in the store or something for yeah, corn? Just, uh, I've got a little planter and I buy the seeds. Mm -hmm. And you push the planter and it puts a seed down about every eight inches. Okay. Like I said, it just for some reason quit working in that little patch right over there. Mm -hmm. And then you see my grapevines. We ought to have a bumper grape harvest. And we will make jelly with these. See, every Christmas, uh, instead of buying gifts, we give uh, jellies and jams and homemade candies and that sort of thing. Uh, and before you leave, I've got a basket for you with... Uh, banana uh jelly and we would call it tabasco pickles they're hot pickles and uh just four or five other things that we make here this is cool this is cool now if you see out here these kind of low bushes yes those are uh satsumas 
Uh huh. But they got killed back, and they're coming back up from the root stock, and that doesn't produce good fruit. Okay. So I have a satsuma down here that bears fruit. Okay. That I'm grafting as we go, because you have to graft the, the citrus trees. I didn't know that. Yep. And uh, then over here is a pear tree. And do you want to take a walk? Do you have pears house? on it? Yes. Show me. Okay. Go we'll walk this way. Walk. The subscribers side. like ask me sometimes, like, show me the real trees on one now, side. These are all pecan trees that oh. you see. Uh, now, we had a pecan blight about nine years ago. And you see there's missing trees. Uh -huh. And these all got stunted back. This is These all should be the size of this one. So this is pecan tree. This is a pecan tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take you down and show you the satsuma tree mm -hmm. and our, our blueberry. Our blueberries are almost ready. Uh huh. My blueberry bushes died out. I can uh. start you again. <laughs> I've got babies. It's a shame you weren't here a month ago, because all these azaleas are in bloom. Well, actually I got a great video of azaleas in bloom when I went to Botanic Garden wow. with my friend. And we made an awesome video and we showed subscribers how beautiful Alabama is. Wonderful. Now this is the pear tree. Aha, uh it's -huh. a great grusha. Just loaded with baby pears. <sighs> Okay, I need to change an uh, angle. So can... But they'll get so heavy that the branches just bend down. Ah. Yeah. See, but it's just loaded. There's just everywhere. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. If you like, we can walk this way. Oh. These are called Seven Sister Roses. Seven Sister? Yep. Because they grow seven to the stem. Uh-huh. But very pretty. Wow. Sweet home Alabama! Woo! Okay, so you have here... Okay. Fish food, uh-huh. And you call me tak rybu. What do you think? This is good fish? Catfish, oh, yeah. very good eat. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. This is... Uh... When all this is over, you can come catch some. Now, those are just decoys. Uh-huh. But... See the box over there? That's a wood duck box. And these are wood duck decoys. And wood ducks come and hatch their eggs here. Mm -hmm. And she will come in at 45, 50 miles an hour, just shoo, right into that hole and just stop. And she'll lay 20 to 23 eggs, one every day. But she'll sit those eggs, mm -hmm. and then when they hatch and get ready, is... they'll all boil out of that box uh -huh. at the same time. Uh -huh. Swim across the river, disappear into the woods, and we'll never see them again. Mm. But every year they come back. <laughs> Where are we headed now? Satsuma. But you see, every one of these is a satsuma. And it'll grow this big. Mm -hmm. And it'll weigh, it'll just pull them down. It gets so heavy. But as you can see, they're they're everywhere. Yes. Gonna be a good year. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the tour. Yes, I see. Like uh, you have like even like this bud flower. I know they smell very well. Um. What do you think? You've been all over the United States. Please tell us what you think is are great things about Alabama. What makes it different from other places to you? Alabama has mountains, it has flatlands, and it has beaches. So it's kind of got a little bit of everything. Plus, if you show up with a smile on your face, everybody will roll out the carpet for you. It'll be very nice. Southern hospitality is real. And uh, we love guests, we love to entertain. And I'm sorry that normally we would have a barbecue and we'd eat and drink and but, you know, these are unusual times. But uh, the people in Alabama, is the most part, now there's, you know, there are closed-minded rednecks everywhere. But uh, the people in Alabama are very forthcoming. They're very helpful, very friendly. All you got to do is smile and try. And they'll reciprocate in kind. Thank you. I'm going to teach you how to say goodbye in Russian. All right. Do свидания. Do свидания. I know that one, I think. Very good.